Short horror stories and creepy pastas have become a staple of internet culture all on their own. Let's shine a light on some of the best horror novels we have got in the last 10 years. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Please watch this video till the very end. This is Sapienshi Island. In 2017, a young woman named Carly Kirk moves to Fell and becomes the night clerk of the local roadside Sundown Motel. Determined to solve the mysterious disappearance of her aunt Viv back in 1982, who was also a night clerk in the same motel. A brilliant mix between murder mystery and supernatural horror, the creepy psychological thriller will leave you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. This novel is a masterclass of mystery that benefits from the format of dual timelines, one set in 1982 and the other in 2017. Inspired by the famous Reddit creepypasta Pen Pal, is a cute complicated novel to describe. It is a story of an unnamed narrator who is trying to piece together a series of strange and terrifying events from his childhood that never made sense to him. The novel is incredibly unique. The novel takes a broad idea of a mystery in such a dark and disturbing direction that it will often make you question the very nature of the story. The book is short but entirely worth it. After the passing of her grandmother, Mouse is asked by her father to clear out her isolated home and take care of her dog for the time being. Things take a dark turn when she finds her step-grandfather's secret journal which seems to detail the antics and whereabouts of a mysterious colony of terrifying beasts located in the woods around the house. The Twisted Ones is a creepy and anxiety-inducing novel with an amazing protagonist and narrator at the center. The Twisted Ones is a must-read. Cora, a talented no-nonsense reporter with a sensitive past, is sent to rural Georgia to cover a disturbing story about an Appalachian cult of snake handlers. There she meets Father Michael, who seems to be hiding something behind his likable smile. The story is unpredictable, the novel is as dark and distressing as one could expect, and the brutal shift in the story will make you unable to put it down. The novel is a compilation of three separate horror stories. The first story is about the murder of a nine-year-old girl named Satsuki and the subsequent cover-up of her death. The second story is about a housekeeper who grows suspicious of her new employer, a kind but strange old man who forbids her from going in a specific room of that house. The third is a particularly unsettling mystery about a teenage girl who loses an eye in an accident and receives a transplant to have it replaced. Immediately after that, she starts to see strange things that obviously aren't really there. In under two minutes, Luke Ellis' life is completely transformed. His parents are silently murdered by mysterious intruders, he is kidnapped, thrown into an SUV and driven away from his home in Minneapolis, just like that. When he wakes up, he is trapped in a room that looks just like his but without windows. He quickly finds out that he is not alone in this place. There are other kids who are just like him, special. It is no surprise that Hollywood has already swooped in to adapt it into a limited TV series. Ever since she escaped the claws of her excessively abusive ex-husband by finally fighting back, Liz knows something has changed in her. It's almost like someone else is controlling her body at times and it looks like that someone is slowly trying to take her place. A powerful story about coping mechanisms and the various forms of domestic abuse, it is gripping, intelligent and extremely efficient. After scamming strangers, family and friends out of millions of dollars, Julia Bishop's husband commits suicide, leaving her alone to face the consequence of his crime. In desperate need of a fresh start, Julia moves to Havenwood. After all, this might be the only chance she has to leave her past behind and start over. But as soon as she sets foot in the hidden house, things get weird. This book is a true marvel of detail-oriented build-up. 
with a twist that will hit you like bricks when it all comes to a head. Victoria McQueen, a gifted young girl with a supernatural ability to find lost things, is the only child to have ever escaped Charles Mangs a not-so-human maniac that kidnaps children and takes them to a terrifying place he calls Christmas Land. Now that she's an adult, Victoria tries to move on until one day Manx escapes from prison. Victoria immediately understands that Manx is coming to get his revenge. One of the most unique novels ever written, regardless of the genre, NOS 482 is profoundly disturbing and it is, without the shadow of a doubt, an absolute must read with one of the scariest villains of all time to get under your skin. When her mother suddenly vanishes without a trace, 19 year old Ruthie and her little sister Fawn decide to do whatever it takes to find her. Ruthie comes across a hidden dairy that belonged to the previous owner of the house who was founded under mysterious circumstances a few months after the death of her daughter. Before she knows it, Ruthie finds herself at the center of a dark mystery that surrounds her mother, her house and their town. A gripping, thought-provoking page turner with a dark and airy winter atmosphere like we have never quite seen before. It is incredibly well written and bone chilling with an ending that reveals a true mastery of foreshadowing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what else you like to see.